This video looks at the NEA1, the Section C Analysis and Evaluation. Section C Analysis and Evaluation is worth nine marks. To get top marks in this section, you will need to show that it's a detailed and accurate interpretation and analysis of the results with justified conclusions for all aspects of the hypothesis stroke investigation. The report should demonstrate an in-depth and specialist understanding of how ingredients work and why. And there should be a detailed explanation stroke reflection of how the results can be applied when preparing and cooking food. And finally, the report is communicated in a structured and coherent manner with accurate use of technical language. So looking at the first one on the list, a detailed, accurate interpretation and analysis of the results with justified conclusions for all aspects of the hypothesis stroke investigation. So the analysis and evaluation section requires you to look at the results of your experiments and write about them and, and what happened and why did it happen. You need to show off your knowledge regarding the purpose of ingredients and how they work, which you have written about in the research section. Use key terminology such as fermentation and dextrinization and factors that affect them. And don't be afraid to show off your scientific knowledge as long as it relates to the task. This passage was written by a student. Investigation one showed that yeast that was subjected to hot water, 60 degrees Celsius, produced the most carbon dioxide gas bubbles. My research and previous experience has shown that yeast prefer warm water to allow it to dissolve and become active. The best temperature for the yeast to produce the maximum carbon dioxide is between 30 and 40 degrees Celsius. Therefore, my hypothesis proved incorrect. My research has shown that if water is too hot, the yeast will die and will not activate if too cold. And at cooler temperatures, the yeast doesn't activate as well. And it can release a substance that can interfere with gluten formation. An explanation could be that the water may have cooled quickly, especially as the test tube glass would have been cool. Now this passage brings in some information from the research section and discusses yeast and conditions it requires to thrive. Key terms such as gluten formation have been mentioned and the student has thought about why their hypothesis was incorrect and offers an explanation as to why the yeast became active in hot water. So the marker will also make sure the report demonstrates an in-depth and specialist understanding of how ingredients work and why. So achieve, to achieve the top band of marks, you need to have shown an excellent knowledge of how the ingredients work and why throughout the whole report. The marker will also expect a detailed explanation stroke reflection of how the results can be applied when preparing and cooking food. So look at the results of your investigations. What have you learnt about the ingredients that will affect the way you prepare meals and cook in the future? So this student has written, my results have influenced how I will prepare and bake bread. In the future, when making bread, I will not use baking soda as, as, as a raising agent unless I make soda bread. Yeast has proved to be the best raising agent. However, if time is limited, I will now realise I can use baking powder as tasters enjoyed this bread. Both the taste and texture were appealing to the sensory panel. My research shows that 38 degrees Celsius is the ideal temperature for yeast. However, my results show that yeast will work over a range of temperatures. So I will always ensure the water is tepid and not use a thermometer to test the water temperature. I will use the recommended amount of sugar in bread recipes as my research and results have shown that too much sugar slows down fermentation so less carbon dioxide is produced. 
So here, the student discusses how the results have influenced their future preparing and baking of bread and have talked about various ingredients and how they work. And finally, the report is communicated in a structured and coherent manner with accurate use of technical language. To achieve the top marks, there must be subject specific terminology. So things like food science terms, dextrinization, gluten formation, gelatinization, and these terms should be used throughout the report. The report should be well presented and structured and also a bibliography should be included as shown here 